Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we have a couple of very interesting bodybuilding topics, but we're gonna have to start with Nick Walker. How am I not supposed to start with this guy, since he is looking so insane right now? I don't think he was ever this conditioned that two weeks out, and he's pretty much ready for the stage. As you can see, the weight right now is 261, guys, 260. Do you understand what that means? He's five foot freaking seven. At five foot seven, 261, shredded like this. And also he adds flat as a pancake. That's ridiculous. That's insane. So he's flat here, which means he's depleted of carbs for a while. He's probably gonna have some higher carb days after this, but this is probably his lowest weight because he's very flat. And I don't think he's gonna go down that much until the Mr. Olympia, maybe another five pounds or so. But last year, guys, last year he was 245. If he ends up 255 this year, that's 10 pounds. If he stays around 260, that's 15. It's not gonna be 20 as he thought it would be. Maybe he's gonna go down to 245. I don't know when he dehydrates and everything like that, but I don't think so. I think he's going to be at least 10 pounds heavier. And where did those 10 pounds go? I think most of it, at least half of it went to his quads, his outer sweep of the quads and also his back. And I think a lot of it went to his arms. I think his arms are bigger this year, much, much bigger. We can argue whether it's gonna hurt him or help him at the Mr. Olympia, but I think his arms progressed for sure. And look at the size of those freaking abs, like he has blocks on his stomach and it does look very impressive. I was definitely more impressed with his side poses than I was with his front poses, like this one, for example. As you can see in this side chest pose, his hamstrings are dropping like crazy. I mean, his arms are looking big and round, and also his chest is looking much fuller than it was last year, I think so. And also, like, look at the depth of the striations in his quads, in his glutes, pretty much everywhere. He looks really dry, really, really separated, those cuts are really deep, and I think this is going to translate to the stage very, very well. Again, I have Nick Walker in my top three. Look at the side tricep as well. He looks very straight, there is a lot of separation everywhere, and also he looks very much dry, like he has that gnarly grainy look, especially in the quads, everywhere else pretty much, so his conditioning is going to be impressive, he's probably gonna be even a little bit more conditioned than he was last year, with more tissue, with more weight, and guys, come on, that cannot be lower than top 3, I definitely have him in my top 3, you can dislike his aesthetics, I don't like his aesthetics, you can say you don't wanna look like this, but if you know bodybuilding, if you know bodybuilding standards, the judging, you understand that this guy is going to do really well at the Mr. Olympia, I mean, he's not the biggest guy, he's not the biggest guy pound for pound, he's going to be shredded, he's very, very complete, especially in the poses, now, the only problem that might occur is something that Brandon Curry mentioned in his podcast with Fuad recently, is that if they compare him a lot, if he's on that stage posing a lot, after a while, he might lose the control of his midsection, which is, let's say, his biggest problem, the size of his waist, but he fixed that quite a bit, he definitely improved it in this mirror selfie with his pants way too low, his waistline looks much improved, this is definitely something that Dom Super Slice, his former coach, helped him with during the offseason, he spoke about this, they wanted to bring the waist down one inch, but instead they actually got it down one and a half inches, so you can see it, you can definitely see the progress in that regard, I just wish Nick was more grateful to Dom for that and he gave him some credit for it, unfortunately he doesn't want to do that, but it is what it is, anyways, his waistline looks much improved, and I'm sure he's practicing his vacuum, so I'm sure he's going to have a good control on that stage, he's very good at posing, he knows really how to hold the poses, but Brandon Curry says that he has trouble controlling the midsection when he gets tired, so we'll see if that's gonna happen, as for now, look at his waistline, like this guy is known for having the biggest waist, now his waist, at least in this photo, in this selfie, it looks much improved, and it looks better in other poses as well that we saw in other updates, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna see much improved version of Nick Walker, better conditioning, more size, improvements in certain body parts, and that has to translate to better placement at Mr. Olympia, the way I see it right now, top three, what do you guys think?
If you guys are looking for a really tasty and really high quality whey protein powder, actually protein powder is not only whey protein powder but more of a complete meal because this is also egg white protein and beef isolate protein so it's really like a meal in a powder form and I want to show you this flavor, it's banana milkshake, it's really refreshing, it's really different from many things you probably tried and I love it and if you guys want to try it out, if you want to support me and my channel, if you guys enjoy my content and you want me to continue Continue making these videos you can support me by trying one of the old school lab supplements the link is down below in the description and the code is even if you use my code even you also get a 15% discount and it really helps me and my channel so thank you guys here is somebody who people don't really have on their radar not really I mean Ian Valier was seven at the Mr. Olympia two years in a row seven is very very high actually and if he can repeat that this year, stay in that top seven, that's gonna be a huge success considering the lineup. But a lot of people kind of forgot about Ian. They don't really appreciate what he has. And in this most recent physique update, he kind of reminds us that he, I mean, he has flaws. He has plenty of flaws. Like his chest is kind of shallow. The back could be better. The structure is not very nice. Nothing is super impressive. Like his arms would also be better. His shoulders too. Uh, his quads are looking freaky, but like there could be more muscle in that area as well. The only body part that he doesn't need to grow is probably his glutes. Everything else could be improved, but overall, his entire physique like the thickness that he has, chest to back thickness, the oral size of his legs, the graininess that he brings to the stage, the conditioning, the consistency with conditioning, and also the improvements that he keeps making every year. All the weak body parts that he had, he improved. His back is better now, his chest is definitely better now. I think his arms grew plenty. I think he has great arms, but for some reason he said he wanted to make them bigger. He said that his arms could be better. I can see that. Maybe they could have been bigger, especially compared to guys like Nick Walker. So he tried to improve them. He trained them more frequently in the offseason, the past, this short offseason. And uh, I think he improved them. I think his arms are bigger now. And I think he did something with legs as well. The, the most impressive, the most impressive thing overall in this photo to me is his X taper, his silhouette. It's just so ridiculous. Like the waist size, how much his legs are popping, how much his uh, shoulders, arms, chest is popping. Like it just overall looks ridiculous, especially combined with his conditioning and graininess. But if there is one body part that really stands out to me, that will be his legs. His legs are looking ridiculous right now. So like this guy is very consistent. We know that he's going to bring it. I don't know about the other guys. Like there are some guys that are probably going to beat him if they are both at 100%. But we can't be sure. Is Andrew Jack going to be 100%? We don't know that. We can be pretty sure that Ian Wallier is going to be. 100% at this show and that he's going to be improved he's going to be shredded he does look ridiculous right now so this guy might very well stay in, in that top seven or even move up I wouldn't be too surprised if he was in like top six I don't really see him higher than that like I don't see him being top five but top seven top six I think that's pretty reasonable what do you guys think and then here is somebody who is going to disappoint. This guy actually won two pro shows this year, back to back. Why is that? How did that happen? How did his physique win two pro shows? It's because Hassan Mustafa was shredded. For once in his life, this year, he was shredded for those two shows. And this is what he looks like when he's ready, when he is conditioned. He loses some of that freak factor, the size that he has, and he does have some structural flaws, like his shoulders are not very wide, his waist could be smaller as well, the shape of his quads is not really the best. Like, there are some flaws, he's far from perfect, but when he is conditioned, because of all the muscle that he has, he can be very dangerous, as he proved to us at these two shows, Orlando Pro and Puerto Rico Pro, and he won both of them. However, now, at two weeks out of Mr. Olympia, he doesn't look really shredded, let's be honest. I know, the show is in two weeks, he's probably gonna really step on that gas pedal from now on, but... Is this conditioning good for two weeks out? For somebody who has trouble bringing conditioning, 
No. Compare this condition to Ian Wallier. You can't even compare it. It's not even close. Nick Walker as well, or anybody else, Brandon Curry, you name it. Nobody is this, I don't know, fat, watery, whatever. At this point, everybody who's going to do something at a show is definitely way more conditioned. And Hassan is one of those guys who really have trouble bringing conditioning. So this can mean two things. One, he's going to start really dieting hard right now and uh, he's going to get shredded in those two weeks, which is not a really likely scenario. The other scenario would be, which is more realistic, that he's simply late, that his kind of physique needs to be ready much, much earlier so he can actually be ready, uh, be conditioned on stage. And at this point, the two weeks out, this is not very good. This was definitely way better when he competed at Puerto Rico or Orlando. He was way more conditioned. For some reason, he won't be able to repeat the same conditioning, it seems. He probably just burned out. Being that shredded for him, for his metabolism, for his body was probably very stressful. I think he really had to suffer really hard. And it was probably mentally... Uh, really tough so he probably didn't have it in his head you know to push again so hard for Mr. Olympia so unfortunately it looks like we won't see the best version of Hassan Mustafa grace the Mr. Olympia stage however Brandon Curry is definitely bringing something special to the stage he's probably going to be at his best ever I don't think he was ever this big this heavy his coach Abdullah actually posted a story in which he said that Brandon Curry is weighing 120 kilos which is 265 right now and also Brandon said it himself on Fuad Abiyad's podcast that he's going to be 260 so that's another five pounds of water maybe to lose and that's it this is really big for Brandon he is going to be really freaking massive and in this video as you can see he looks shredded as well he looks gnarly he looks so dry so 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 separated everywhere and the fullness that he has is just mind-blowing it's ridiculous what he looks like if the show was only about the upper body, he would have easily won a Mr. Olympia. His upper body is one of the best upper bodies of all time, if you ask me. Like, he's that big, that complete, that conditioned and everything, really. But his legs, you know, his legs are a problem. And even though his legs won't be as big as the other guys that are actually gonna challenge him, like Big Ramy and another 10 guys, potentially, he's still, I think, based on this video how full he is right now and how conditioned how much muscle he has i'm pretty confident that his legs are gonna look fine he won't have crazy legs like big rammy no way but the thing is with brandon it depends on how full he is if he if he comes in really full and he's really conditioned and everything is just clicking his legs are looking decent when he's a little flat, his legs suffer really bad. And this time around, because he's so heavy, so big and so full, I think his legs are going to look fine. Let me show you exactly what do I mean. This is the Arnold Classic 2019 when he brought arguably the best, I don't think it's even arguable, I think he actually did bring the best conditioning and fullness combination. And as you can see, when he was so full, his legs didn't look that bad. Come on, guys, look at his legs. Like, not that bad. And here, for example, this was last year's Mr. Olympia, where he was more conditioned. You can see definitely more separation in those quads everywhere, in the hamstrings, in the glutes as well. But he suffered a lot, a lot of size. A lot of size was streamed away for that. Like, he, when he loses fullness, his legs disappear. And this is not a good look. It's definitely not a good look against Big Ramy. So if he can actually bring the fullness, come in with full legs, you guys need to remember how big Brandon actually is in the upper body. Not so many people can match big Rami in these poses, but Brandon can. And from the sides, he looks great. From the front and from the back, there can be that problem with the legs. But as long as he doesn't come super flat, and if he made, let's say, small, small tiny improvements, at least a little bit in the legs, then this guy can actually be you know, a threat for the title, for Big Ramy. Big Ramy is a little bit off. Brandon Curry can take him out. I can definitely see Brandon Curry in my top two, top three, or even win the Mr. Olympia. Whatever you guys think, though, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.